नमस्कार बेंगलुरु हाई एवरी वन नमस्ते सलामकुम टुडे इज संडे दी फोर्टीन ऑगस्ट एंड टाइम इज अबाउट एट ओ क्लॉक इन द मॉर्निंग सो यू मस्ट बी वॉन्ड्रिंग फॉर बाइक इज दिस फॉर दोस्ट ऑफ यू डोंट नो I own a Binley 302 as well, and uh, I thought I'll take it out for a quick ride to Yelagiri, which is in Tamil Nadu before Salem. It's about uh, 170 kilometers from here, one way. So it's going to be about uh, 340 kilometers round trip. I just filled the fuel. Uh, So this is a 3 years old Benly it's done about 17200 uh, kilometers wherein uh, expulse is already covered 15500 kilometers in 9 uh, months so that's the usage of expulse uh due to lockdown i couldn't wow i can see old vintage cars for independence day ride amazing this looks amazing beautiful car amazing amazing this this looks even more crazy It's been very long that I took this bike out, and I thought I'll do a quick uh, video of uh, nearby places to explore. So Yeragiri is a hill station, a small hill station, not a big one. So this is before Salem, and you have one more after Salem, which is Yerkard. Which is about uh, close to 220 kilometers. I think uh, I already had four liters fuel in this bike, close to four liters. I filled about uh, 10.12 liters, so it's got a 14 liters capacity. And if I had to take a rough figure of 28, 29 kilometers uh, mileage, I think I should be able to come back with this uh, one tank of fuel. Let's see if I'm not that is if I'm not riding hard. So I was thinking I'll do it on Monday. uh that's tomorrow the site but then since uh, tomorrow being independence day uh, a lot of crowd would be there everywhere mm, uh, so hence i didn't want to do uh do it tomorrow and thought i'll do it today itself so i should be back home by 6 or 7 in the evening uh, so yeah let's see how uh this ride goes it's a beautiful day pleasant climate and i'd like to thank the lord god almighty for this wonderful opportunity to ride out today and to make this video and share with you guys The beauty of this twin cylinder engine is, if you notice, I'm going in sixth gear at 33 speed, 30 speed, and even at 28 as well sometimes. So 
no problem it just goes and if you open the throttle wide open and it picks up speed so that's the beauty of twin cylinder engine As you can see I'm picking it up from 19 km speed in 50 gear so that's how all twin cylinder works so basically this is a 300cc 38 uh, BHP and I believe 28 or uh, 29 uh, Newton meter torque but I've run a ECU tuning from Ulf Moto which I recently serviced the bike and after that I haven't uh, really taken out anywhere so from the service center I went straight home and parked it and after that I went on uh, on a ride to Ladakh and the bike was just standing there idle I really didn't use it and uh, two days back I took it to uh, the coffee day that's Narsapura there's a small lake for a small ride about 100 kilometers and post that this is a long ride uh, I'm taking it out the bike is really really smooth normally it is smooth but after the service it's become even more smoother uh, it's like butter smooth and the inline to symphony especially in Benley it's a music to the ears I don't know if the GoPro mic is picking this up. Let me slowly a little bit open up the visor. Hope the camera angle is uh, perfect because uh, last time when I captured it a long time ago, uh, I think about five months or six months back. It wasn't capturing uh, the view ahead, it was more focused on the speedo console because of the helmet uh, shape and posture I'm sitting at. So run about 46 km so far. Taking it very easy, not crossing more than 100. Just enjoying the uh, ride. It's a new restaurant. It's 
been quite some time I've been on, I've come on this road and what if it changes? reached the Tivoli toll gate <laughs> basically after this is Huzur Post this, you will not have that uh, huge, insane uh, speed breaker. But that's only till here. So it's it's wise to ride slow in this stretch till here. When I say slow, probably at 80s or even 100s. But beyond that, it's going to be a little risky. Bikers from Bangalore waiting towards the side. It's a Sunday, and yes, people ride out on weekends. That's their only break free moment. That's when they forget all the tensions, work family issues and just enjoy the ride a uh, blast in this road so two wheelers gives us wings I say wings not just to fly but it's a freedom to be break free from all the tensions, issues, problems and enjoy the moment, enjoy the ride, enjoy the nature. Sometimes, yes, uh, people feel that they have wings and uh, fly and rip off. Uh, so they go in insane speeds and end up in accidents, cause trouble to other riders. Because what happens is you need to know when to give a throttle and when not to. So. There's a very thin line and mature moments. Yes, sometimes when you get an empty stretch, you can wide open the throttle, but not always. And this is a six lane, which I always loved. Uh, this goes to Chennai as well. And uh, there's an amazing stretch where you can have a blast, but responsibility. Because uh, this is a risky road, though the road looks good. We'll have people crossing at some section. 
Anyways, I'm just enjoying my ride today. I'm not crossing the bar 110. I'm taking it slow and steady, easy. Trying to find the uh, trying to see stall. Where we can sit and enjoy the tea. I think I should find. I will have some good bakery. Normally, the stitch has got bakeries with a large area to sit, like a patio. So this is the beautiful six lane road for you. Amazing road. Fun to ride road. Nice corners you have. Quite a few left and right corners if you are a corner craving person this is the best route for your sports bike like this before you have to be extra cautious in this road because uh, you will have uh, people animal crossing every now and then Chennai is about 242 kilometers from here. See, this is the corners I was talking about. You have nice corners and you have even more better corners. This road a little ahead, but I think before that we'll take a deviation to the hills. I think this road would uh, we'll be taking about 25 to 30 kilometers in this road and post that is going to be the hill roads climb the hills to Yalagiri otherwise this is an amazing amazing smooth road speed and a little bit of uh, shakiness <laughs> the fold slowly you know, slipped and it was hanging at the edge luckily I saw that and immediately I stopped the bike and uh, saved my mobile otherwise it would have, been, it would have fallen somewhere on the road and 
high speed and uh, I lost some of my some vehicle runs over it and it's gone. This is a small two-way road. Make a small mistake, small misjudgment. Oh, the bike sounds really. Awesome in this uh, apple. Some people fail to keep their vehicle within this uh, line. Man, how many of them? Four of them is like. Worth riding in the hills, worth coming this far. Like I said, there's a lot of crowd because of this Independence Day holiday and uh, people want to go and get out somewhere. And the sound is amazing, I've been missing the sound for long. <laughs> Even the monkeys are, you know, looking at the bike.
15 minutes of uh, enjoyment of it. Benly. And I'm going a little fast but uh, I know my limits I'm not bothering anybody or disturbing anybody by interfering in their lane or in front of them so that's really important the event of Oh, some coolant is leaking, I guess, from the car. what's happening here people keep stopping in between create a ruckus So like I said before, you need to know when to open the throttle and when not to because it's a matter of just you know, decision in a split second and that could end up worse only when you have a clear view you open the throttle
bikers from Karnataka, conscious bikers in the car. Hey, monkey! Monkeys! Those two monkeys were fighting for a plastic cover filled with food, I guess. Dangerous curve goes slow, so let's go slow. So I don't have a line of sight, so hence it's not wise to overtake when you don't have a line of sight. I remember this road, I clearly remember cornering in these roads in my RC390, and that was real fun. I used to scrape my this uh, RST boot sliders. That's the kind of lean angle I used to take in uh, RC390. But not on this bike because this is really heavy. It's about 200 kgs. And uh, I really don't do that much of countering in this one. A medium countering, I would say. glad that I chose to come here today and I'm really grateful that God has given me the opportunity for me to ride here today. See these guys coming in the other line. You should stick to your line. That way you won't disturb the other rider or driver. I have reached Silkport. Uh, I don't know when the camera battery died when I was climbing up the hills. Post that uh, I was trying to explore around. But it was too crowded. And uh, I couldn't fly the drone as well because it was completely crowded. I don't want to disturb people there or attract attention. So, yes, basically, there were only three, four uh, points to visit. One is the viewpoint up the hill, and uh, it is just a peak of the hill, and then a couple of temples. And post that, it is uh, boat house and the park, natural herb park. So I decided to come down because there's nothing much to do and uh, I've enjoyed the ride up the hills. Similarly, I enjoy the ride down the hills as well. And uh, yes, then I reached, eventually I reached uh, Silkport now. Time was about 4, 1 minute uh, to 4. And uh, yeah, I've covered close to, uh, I mean approximately 368.5 and I'm, I still haven't filled the fuel so the E that's the reserve is not blinking yet which means I should have at least one one and a half liters or maybe a little more than that and uh, that should take me home so I shall update 
when I reach home or when I'm about to fill fuel. Morning, I filled fuel in this fuel station, so I'll fill it in the same fuel station up to the brim. And let's check what's the mileage we are getting. So it's filled up to the neck. And it's 12.12 Anusha. So if I had to calculate 391.7 divided by 12.12 .12. that's 32.31 mileage I would say that's an amazing mileage for this category let me reset this repay 